Hi everybody, welcome back to the channel. Hope everybody's having a fine day. I am uh, recording my rings and my pendants here. <laughs> That's what I'm starting off with because I wanted to show you that um, how I make these rings. I know it doesn't really seem homestead related, but I do take these to the farmer's market that I'm in and sell them. I sell, along with my jams and jellies, I sell these rings. And they're just made of wire and bead. I recently took these to um, a garage sale that my cousins were having and my auntie and uh, the, on the second day of the garage sale that I was there I thought why am I not taking this stuff from my farmers market and they sold like hotcakes okay my jellies sold more than all my junk my rings sold my crystal pendants um, rabbit feet I make rabbit feet and they sold I've got some keychains and a lot of them sold because I don't have any left that have my beads on them I put beads on them, keychains, sage uh, fans, there's my tobacco pouch, you can make medicine bags. Anyway, um, they were all wondering how in the world I made those rings, so I said, well, I'm going to do a video on that. Um, stay tuned and I will show you how to make these rings. So I also wanted to show you that this is uh, made out of a Dollar Tree frame. Sorry about my paint bucket in the back. Uh, one of my girls were painting earlier today but anyway this I made this out of a frame so where it just kind of sits up like this on a table for like a display got those at the Dollar Tree also and there were probably like 10 in a pack anyway um, these are also from the Dollar Tree those are hair curlers the bendy ones they have wire you just take the wire out and you hot glue the felt because you can get square uh, square felt um, excuse me felt squares there at, or at Walmart or whatever for like a 97 cents or something like that. But anyway, um, it was just a lot of it was a lot of hot gluing, and uh, you'll glue it all inside the little frame there, and then the rings just fit in perfectly, and they just sit in there. And I love that color of purple and black, so it worked out fine. I just wanted to share that part with you. So the first thing I want to do is um, cut my wire, and I cut it probably um, almost a foot long. And it's important that you get the right gauge. I messed around and messed around with this. I think this is a this is a 22 gauge, and I just ordered it off of Amazon. I have silver, copper, um, black. I think anyway, super pretty. Then you just need to pick out your bead. I have these beads here, and uh, let's see which one we want to do today. Hmm, how about let's do that blue one. Can you see that blue one? We'll do that one. My little tackle box there. So you're going to put your beat, your wire through the hole here. And you're going to do it one more time through there. Okay, can you see here? One more time through there. So it's like this. Okay, so we're going to try to make it even on both sides I'm trying here doesn't have to be perfect you can cut it but try to get it as close as possible okay so there's that it's it's pulled tight okay then what I do is kind of wrap it around my finger this wrap it around the other side like that I've got it like that. now what I'm gonna do is take it off my finger and kind of hold on to it like this while I'm working with it I'm gonna take this side and wrap it around twice now it's kind of sticking off to the side here. Okay, this one, I'm going to do the same. I'm wrapping it around twice. And then you have this ex this excess here on the sides. And you have your ring like this here. Now this one's going to have like four strands, and usually I just have two. So I haven't made this in a, I haven't made one of these in a while, but this is going to be just fine. It'll be just perfect. So then you're going to, um, with this extra here, you're going to tuck it through like this and wrap it around. 
just wrap it around here. These are just so pretty. I just sell them for five bucks a piece. And they sell. I, I'm really due to make some more, so. It's hard having time to sit down and do them, but I, I try to do them at night when we're all chilling. The girls and me really enjoy doing crafts. So you see how I've just kind of wrapped and wrapped that thing around. There's this sharp end here that you can kind of work with and kind of, you know, poke it around. And we'll push this up too. Did you see that? Push that up. wrap that around like that. I don't know if you can hear that thunder. It's just been raining for days here. So you have this side here. We're going to do the same thing. And just wrap it around. Just tuck it in there. And keep going with it. This really doesn't have to be perfect. And they're super pretty. You can make them whatever size you'd like. But when I learned to do this, I was so stinking excited. I was just like, wow, that's so easy and pretty. People really enjoy them. And there's that one. I'm just going to kind of bend those to where they don't poke and don't catch on clothes. And hopefully you saw what I was doing there. Do you see that? How long did that take? Five minutes? Okay, there you have it. My battery died. <laughs> so anyway, starting over here. Um, this is the end result. And you can use any kind of bead that you would like. I have used um, smaller beads here. See the smaller bead. Uh, let's see, this one's kind of tiger eye looking bead here and I'm sure that let me see if I can get that to focus it's not wanting to for some reason here uh, maybe I can back up a little bit this one here I probably I'm pretty sure that I got it from a bracelet that I thrifted and um, this one also this stone here I got from a thrifted necklace or a bracelet or something that I had bought from a flea market I'm sure I paid a quarter for it or something like that for the necklace, but I thought, well, I'll use those beads. So, you know, you can use whatever kind of beads that you would like, um, and then you just use your silver. You could use, uh, you know, black wire, any kind of wire, any color that you would like, but it is 22 gauge. That was one thing when I was watching videos trying to figure this out. I never could get, like, a straight answer on the, um, the wire size, so it's 22 gauge, and I... I sold a lot at the garage sale. This one here, I make them with this turquoise bead, which is kind of the style right now. Super cute. Maybe I'll make one of those next. Well, now I just want to sit here and make beads all day. It's a rainy day, um, but I guess I better get started on all my other stuff. The only thing I would recommend on these rings is if you're going to make them and gift them or if you're going to make them and sell them is that um, I would recommend they take them off before they wash their hands or take a shower. Don't wear them in the shower or in the bath or anything because I'm not real sure about how long that silver will last. I don't know. But hey, five bucks, it's worth it, man. It'll last a while. Anyway, I sure hope you enjoyed watching. I enjoyed having you. Have a great day. Bye-bye.